green screen, I hear you ask. Well, um, for me, uh, since I am not a rich person, it is a very cheap way to travel. Or, um, since airfares are so high, you can even fly. Or you can do it, mainly the reason I do it, you can do it just for fun. <laughs> oh. That's fun. <laughs> oh my. Before I show you my garage green screen studio, I want to talk a little bit about my journey with green screen. Uh, first, I went to Home Depot and got two large canvas drop cloths, which I sewed together. Then I went to a professional video store and bought a gallon of chromo green paint by, I think it's Roscoe, $64 a gallon. And I painted my canvas that color, which seemed to work pretty well. But then later I wanted more green screen screens that I could use in other places. So I thought I'd check and see if any other color green would work. And I went to Home Depot and got a bunch of green samples to see if any of them would key out. Now you can see most of them work fine and they're a lot cheaper. I ended up getting this uh, paint at Home Depot and I think it was like five dollars and it worked just fine for my green screen. Also another little tip when you're doing green screen do not wear shirts like this I have made that mistake a couple of times and, uh, well, let's look at what can happen. Okay, now I'd like to show you my green screen garage. Now let's take just a little bit of green screen footage to play with in my editing program. Well, that should be enough. Now we are in my video editing program, Adobe Premiere Elements 11. And in Project Assets, I have put all the files I'm going to use for this demonstration. So first of all, let's bring down this little clip of green screen that we just made in the garage. I'm going to put that on video three. And I'm going to put this picture of the Great Wall underneath it on video two. And I'll tell you why I put them up so high a little later on. Now let's go over here and make it a little larger so it'll be easier to see there. Now as you can see, there are things that are not in front of green that we need to get rid of and I'll show you how to do that. We go to effects and keying and here is a four point garbage mat. We drag that garbage mat right onto the footage and then we go to effects. Let me close this window. 
and click on four point garbage mat. See these little handles? That way we can move move the handles in until we're rid of anything we don't want it, want on the screen. Now it's just very easy to add the green screen key. And all you have to do is click on green screen, hold down the left mouse button and drag it over the video and bum, voila, there we are. That's all there is to doing green screen in Premiere Elements 11. But now I'm going to show you why I put that video track high up, up in video 3 rather than down lower. What we're going to do here, let me move this right to the end. And now click on it, go to Edit, Copy and edit, paste. There's a copy of the green screen footage. Now I'm going to go to Project Assets and get two other files. I'm going to get Opal Sparkle and put that on video 2. I'm going to get Roy G. Biv here, which is another little animation I made, and put that on video 1. Now let's just cut these so they'll be the right length and delete and this one cut delete there. Now I'm going to show you how to use a track mat and what you do go to effects and we scroll down a little bit and there is track mat. We're going to put this track mat on Opal Sparkle. Let's bring it over and just drop it on there. Now we'll go to, to Effects. Let me close this window. And in Track Mat, we want to tell Opal Sparkle that the Track Mat is this animation, which is on Video 3. So we'll, instead of none, we'll say Video 3. Now you can see, you just see the uh, opal through the video and see what's underneath, which is this uh, animation that I made. I'll just look at a little bit of it here. Now we're going to go a step, just one step farther. I'm going to go to Project S assets and drag down this track mat picture that I made, which is just a white opal oval in a black background. And we put it on top of all the videos. Now we'll go down to Roy G. Biv. Click on it, go to effects, and drag the track mat key onto it. Now we'll go to effects track mat. And this picture is on video 4. We just need to tell it that. Video 4. And since it's just a black and white picture, we need to say Matt Luma. Now, see you have a little oval there. Well, the oval should be a little bit bigger. Click on that. Go to motion. And we'll just drag it a little bit bigger and maybe place it a little lower there. Now here is what you have. Okay, so I've showed you how to do green screen, which is really simple, but this little bit more complicated process using track mats, well, they're a lot of fun to play with. So I hope you play with green screen and track mats too. Thanks for watching.